I have no idea what's going on over there, but there's so much going on. I found a little nook. Little nook. Oh my god, why can't they find anything? Okay. I'm not feeling the greatest today. I'm a little sad. I know, what else is new? Jonathan did not communicate to me how early he had to work today. So, unfortunately, he didn't have time to go eat anything. So I got us Barberinos and I dropped it off to him. And I wanted to eat this shit before it gets soggy. So I got my turkey, turkey club and my fries with cheese and hot peppers. And of course the fries are soggy, it's not crispy now. Okay, okay. I hate it when fries fall in between the seats. Hey Burbank. I do need a tray. Okay, that is not a large fry. Y'all did me dirty. Why is everything always going on in the forest preserve? I feel hungover today. I just feel sad. combination of cheese and peppers. I was doing so good. Not eating um, sugar, sodas, carbs in general, and then, alas, here we are again. I'm actually just like, oh.
I just ate that whole sandwich with like without barely talking. That's how you know it's real. Um. <sighs> I just wish things were different in a variation of ways, but mainly my family who's just all broken AF. That's called overcompensation. I feel Like, I really need to work on forgiveness. This woman came into my job the other day. And I felt for her, bro. I really didn't like her at first, but... She seems to be a sweet lady. She just... Really? As I was saying... She seems to be a sweet lady. She's just not. There's just something. There's something about her. But the long and short of it goes. She lost her mom two months ago and she showed up late because she lost track of time while she was laying down on her mom's grave at the cemetery which like broke my heart obviously and she just looks me dead in the face and she asked me if I have a mom and I just say yeah how she ended things with her mom it doesn't sound like they ended things good and she's like you listen to me and you never forget this moment I don't care what she does to you never ever ever disrespect her you remember this moment I'm like okay universe shut the fuck up It's just crazy because I've disrespected this woman my entire life. <sighs> I've just, I feel shitty. Like I feel like a shitty fucking daughter and maybe that's why I just don't want to have kids. felt genuine between her I like everything's always felt like an obligation because of the universal laws you know
I mean, this person's betrayed my trust. And it just doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter what she's done to me because she's my mom and she can treat me however she'd like. And I have to show her respect. Honestly, a big part of my resentments come from about my father. I just feel I just feel so bad for him. Because you know, had my mother not been so money hungry, my dad would still be living in the same house on the south side. And instead, he had to move to this rinky dink apartment where he's just shacked up and alone in the darkness and he's completely okay with that. But she married him, divorced him, and took him for all that he was worth, including the house that we used to live in. That was a really gorgeous house who now whoever lives there is never moving out probably. How do I work on forgiving all of those things? It's just always been about money for this woman, like everything in life. And then she still claims she doesn't have enough. Until you have kids, you'll, un you'll never understand. Well, I guess I'll never understand them. I think I hate myself sometimes because I remind myself so much of this person that I have been told I look identical to. That I see so much of myself in this person and I don't like certain things that embody that. Sometimes I think she cursed me in life to not be more successful than her. I don't know. Just the love never felt real. It just always felt about her and what I could do for her. Meanwhile, there's some people who don't even We keep falling over, I'm sorry. There's some people who don't even have mothers. And here I am holding a grudge against mine. You know? so sick of me feeling shit on his face. So I feel a little bit ungrateful.
I also just feel obliged by what the rest of the world is telling me what to do. Oh, because it's Mother's Day, I have to go make amends with my mother. If not now, God damn it. If not now, when? Never? I just feel this overwhelming feeling of guilt and shame. And sometimes I feel like all these attacks, spiritual attacks that have been happening to me lately, is my brother telling me to make amends? But I don't know. I can't prove that. And I'll never really know. I've just been trying to think of the serenity prayer that I learned in grammar school that says, Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And I know the difference here. I can change this relationship. My ego, my pride, and my stubbornness are just heavy and in the way I can't change who she is but I can change how I interact with her I can change our relationship But do I, is it because I want to or is it because I feel obligated by everybody else telling me what to do? What I should do, what the right thing is. I'm really torn up about it. And I got in my feels while eating that because she put me on Bavrinos and I'm pretty sure she used to eat Bavrinos while she was pregnant with me. And I wasn't really even supposed to be born. You know, she she shot her shot because she wanted a girl. And then here I am, 35 years later, and we just don't have a good relationship. And I'm all sure I wanted. But was it for her or for me to have a life? Was she was what she wanted in me for her or genuinely for me? And I think that's where I'm at with having kids. Do I want kids for me or do I want a child to, to experience their own life and like have the capability to change the world for the good? I just don't know. And I'm so scared to have a kid because I'm so scared of karma. And I know that shit's gonna hit me like a brick, a shit ton of bricks. I gotta go home and take care of my dog now. So hopefully I have some, you know, better updates and, you know, better vibes the next time. I know I haven't really talked to y'all about this in a minute and I've been relatively keeping it surface level. This dog's so funny. He doesn't want to go. <sighs> Peace out, y'all. Many blessings and have a happy Mother's Day.